Howdy, howdy, everybody. I hate audio. <laughs> I hate audio a lot now. Hope everybody is having a good day. Mine is going okay. <laughs> Mine was going great up until this shit. I, I don't know what happened, dude. Literally, the, weird, the weirdest thing I did to my PC while I was on vacation, very simple, just plugged in a different mic just so I could play Helldivers. That is all I fucking did. But ever since then, ever since I brought my PC back and I hooked everything up to it, that was, again, only thing I did that was weird. And I just changed the microphone to run through voice meter because it wasn't a good microphone. I wanted it to sound a little better. And I touched nothing else. I did went through all of that and just nothing's fucking worked. And I'm hitting a point where I am so fucking sick of audio bullshit that I think I am, I think after stream today, I'm just dropping the money on the Sennheiser. Because I have a good chunk of money in my bank account right now, and I wanted to, like, I want it as a cushion, but, like, I'm so sick of anything to do with microphones and my voice at this point that I just don't even think it's fucking worth not having it at this point. I want a decent mic. I want a good mic, not a decent mic. I, what I have right now is a decent mic. But for some reason, the sensitivity on the Razer Sire Mini just went up, like, so much, and it's just picking up every minor fucking sound in my room, which it wasn't doing before. All I needed to have on voice meter was, like, a two-level, like, noise gate, and all of a sudden, that thing needs to be six. I have no idea what's happened. And I'm sick of trying to figure out why. So I'm just gonna go ahead. I'm just gonna buy the Razer. I, I mean, I'm not gonna buy the Razer Siren. I had the Razer Siren. I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm just going to buy a, the Sennheiser on my throne today. That's what I'm gonna do. So, uh, yeah. Outside of that. Um, we got some Ace Attorney. I still fully intend to play Ace Attorney today. I really don't want to cancel stream when I just came back after a while. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to get on that real quick. And, uh, yeah. After that, um, new microphone. And I'm going to try and get that thing shipped here as fast as possible. If I can get it by tomorrow, I fucking will. I'm tired of this shit, bro. <laughs> I'm tired of shit. Oh, it's making me to, like, go, go, on my ad break, just go and fucking purchase it. I cannot stress how tired of audio stuff I am. Let's go play a fucking game. Oh, God, the game's not here. Hold up. Hold up. I'm fixing it. I'm fixing it. I'm throwing off, I'm throwing off the music. Okay, there we go. There we go. Perfect. Perfect. Beautiful. Exactly how we want it. Let me move this over here. Alrighty, and we should be good. I can see everything. Uh, where is game audio is working right? Yeah, it is. Bet. March 13th. 10, 11 a.m. Question mark. Qu oh, what the fuck? I didn't get to count the question marks. Don't worry, Miss Sedgeworth. I'll be following you every movement with my binoculars. Good to hear. Now make sure you don't lose sight of me. I'm counting on you for the backup. You can count on me, sir. I have to go. The kidnapper is supposed to contact me soon. You would have thought that upon my return, I'd be thrust into a kidnapping case. And that I would be the one who would have to make the ransom drop off. Interesting. Let's see. I checked that money. That money is all there, safe inside the suitcase. I like that he used the suitcase from the last case. That's cute. <laughs> now all I have to do is wait for the instructions from the kidnapper, which I'm expecting to be transferred to my cell phone. I wonder who else is around. This is the meeting place, after all. Oh, dear God, that blue badger is horrifying. Welcome to Gatewaterland. 
Oh, oh, thank you. And a big hello to you. I'm Proto Badger. Nice to meet you. Excuse me, but were you perhaps thinking of taking a picture of me? A picture of you. Sorry, but I'm not interested. Oh, that's too bad. Well, have a good day. Hello? Who are you? You're not Ernest Armano. Sounds like the kidnapper is using some sort of voice alteration device. It's representative, Miles Edgeworth. Are you a cop? No, I'm a prosecutor. Dot, 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 dot. I know what you're wondering, and yes, I have brought the ransom money with me. I see. In that case, bring the money with you to the stadium. This person intends to see if I'm being followed, huh? Please, Detective Gumshoe, I really need you to come through for me this one time. Was that Mac? Was that a uh, pain? <laughs> Edgeworth speaking. Next, come to the haunted house. Just how long do you intend to have me wander around? That's for me to decide. You don't have much of a choice here, my friend. I suppose not. Making my way downtown. Way downtown. I've arrived. Go inside. Ugh. What's up with the side of the suitcase? What a dismal place. That's it. Go through those doors. Am I being watched from somewhere? Leave the money and go. Now. <clears throat> I was hoping for an exchange, but maybe I should do as they say for now and not push it. Couldn't catch even a glimpse of the kidnapper. Perhaps I should keep an eye on this haunted house until police backup arrives. Dun dun. I know what's about to happen. I've seen this image. <laughs> <laughs> I love this image. Doc! It was a trap! Plot twist, kidnapper does not play nice. In other news, the sky is blue. Well, actually, it's green here, but shut up. <laughs> Guy betrayed. No, can't be. Then the deal. What is that? And what are they talking about? Split. Police. All right. In front of meetup. Can't move my body. Okay. Here I may faint again. I did the organizer has anything. Oh, nope, but I am tied up. Where am I? Got the Gatewater Land pamphlet, map, and explanation of park attractions listed. Touch the check button for details. Stadium, haunted house, main gate, and wild, wild world. How long was I out? Was it raining like it is now when I made the drop off? This was supposed to be a simple affair. So why have I been taken hostage as well? I can only assume Detective Gumshoe lost sight of me at some point. The only reason I agreed to be at a drop off man was because of that phone call. This was from Mr. Ernest Omano. 
the director of the powerful Zaibatsu, the Amano group. Aside from that, I also am a great debt of gratitude. His only son, Lance, had been kidnapped. I know that Lance is already in his 20s, but I guess some things you never grow out of. I can't sit around waiting for someone to come help me. I must escape somehow. <laughs> Was that you making that funny sound? Who's there? And dare, how dare you laugh at a gentleman's plight? Who are you? Are you one of the kidnappers? A kidnapper? Me? No way. I'm not into such petty crimes. Nope. I'm after something much, much bigger. Dot, 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 dot. Fuck. I must be worn out from today's ordeal. Focus, Miles. Oh, I forgot to introduce myself. Sorry about that. Ahem. Oh, and I'm checking on something. Again. More audio bullshit. Not that it's gonna matter much soon, but... At this point, I am, in fact, fucking pissed. <laughs> Alright. <sighs> Even in the depths of night, when no other bird dares to take flight, one alone soars to shine the light of righteousness on the world's blight. And that one is me, for I'm the great thief, Yatagarasu. Great thief? Did she really just claim to be the Yatagarasu? Oh, but my real name is Kay Faraday. You can call me Kay, Kay? Good, glad that's settled. Dot, dot, dot. Not quite, I have a mountain of questions for you. But first, if you would be as kind as to remove these ropes. Hmm, I wonder, should I remove them? I was actually having a lot of fun watching you make those silly faces. Mm. Hey, there's no need to get all mad and ice glary on me, you know. This rep goes through here, and there you go. What a relief. I owe you my thanks. Ah, it's okay. You can pay me back in full later. Now then, what question should I start with? Fortunately, I can already tell nothing is going to be easy with this cheeky girl. I need to be pissed, man. Everything is all right in the Jamaican Bussy Church, man. <laughs> uh, welcome, Thornlock. Hope you're having a good day today. I had audio issues. Not fun. I am imminently going to buy a re um, that Sennheiser. I don't care. <laughs> I don't care anymore. $200 price tags cannot contain my rage. All right, let's go ahead. You call yourself a great thief, and yet are you really a thief at all? You doubt me? I get it. You think that a young lady might be couldn't possibly be such a big time thief, right? That's not the part I have a tough time believing. I'm a real genuine Atagrasu, you know? Yep, I'm a pure blooded great thief, and it's a little something I inherited from my predecessor. In that case, you wouldn't mind if I arrested you then, right? What? Of course I'd mind! I haven't stolen anything yet! Seriously, I don't know how you can say such a horrible thing to your savior. It's true. Technically, she hasn't stolen anything in front of me. Yet. <laughs> uh, when you say you're the Yatagarasu, do you mean you are THE Yatagarasu? Yep. The most righteous of the righteous, the legendary great thief. The title was only recently succeeded to me. So I haven't had a chance to steal anything yet as the second Yatagarasu. I was not aware that thieves could pass down their titles like that. But don't worry, I've got some big plans in the works. Big plans, huh? They wouldn't happen to lead to a big arrest, would they? I knew it! There's just no reasoning with a prosecutor. I'm not the problem here. I'll have you know that the Yadagrasu has no interest in stealing petty trinkets. There's one thing and only one thing I want to steal. Only one thing? And what would that be? But that's going to have to wait until we find our way out of here. Well, at least there is one thing we agree on. I'm sure I'll have plenty of time later to learn more about you. So, you never told me what your name is, Mr. Prosecutor. Huh? I guess not. I'm Miles Edgeworth. Aha! Uh -huh. Now I remember. How can you remember something I just told you? A 
she sure is cheery. All right then, Mr. Edgeworth, let's get out of here. I can just let that run. I can just let this keep running. That'd be funny. Hmm, similarly upset, D&D &D group postponed today, so continuing work on my own campaign. Eh, never hurts too much to have it at a little extra time to work on things. Oh, okay, it's Kay. Yeah, Kay's here. I'm just letting her fiddle with the door for a bit. I'm sure this is very, I'm sure this is great for everyone's ears. I'm sure y'all are having a great time. I'm just gonna take a nice, slow sip of my water while she does that. That's good water. <clears throat> as excited as I like to be over K and D and D, I am also having a bad time. Man, fucking Thursday just ain't anyone's day. Didn't give myself enough time for homework, and without completing it tonight, I won't be able to take exam. They can do that. They can like just say, "Oh, you didn't complete your homework. No exam for you." I. The fuck kind of school does that? That's dumb. Yeah, it honestly, if it's if they're walling you from an exam with homework, just bullshit the homework. They didn't say it had to be good. Wait, when did I say two? Actually, I actually didn't. When did I say two? I missed it. <laughs> What's this button do? Online class, it does have to be good. Seventy percent good. That is so fucking dumb. I feel like you should be able to like report them for that that doesn't seem like something you should be able to do doesn't feel like it i would look into that <sighs> just do your best that's all i can say that's really fucking dumb like oh you you didn't do one thing now now, now you fail now you fail the whole thing because you ain't doing one thing to get the important thing like that should not that does not feel like it's allowed i would i would seriously look into that it seemed that we are locked in from the other side. What? No way! I don't hear you! La 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 la! Hey, do you remember where you came in from, right? Looks like that might be our only way out of this room. Whoops, slight miscalculation. That's a good height to make an entrance from, but I can't jump that high to make an exit. <sighs> Suppose we have no choice but to look around and see if we can't find another way out. Apparently one person finished the class by now, so hello darkness, my old friend. Bro, it's just one fuck. It's one person who probably just had a boring day and just decided to do their homework. Not everyone has that. I certainly don't have that. My life's busy as shit. If it helps, I'm also kind of in a sticky homework situation. So, everything kind of works out. Hey, there's something inside the bottom right box. Oh, I think it's a pink badger costume. Pink badger? <laughs> you don't keep up what's going on in the world, do you? In that case, you'd better study up on the whole badger clan with this. <laughs> Proto badger, the very first badger. Um, uh, what is this thing? A vile criminal with a gun? Now I just this who keeps the peace. Note her unique pink bow. Think of it as a Bible of all things you'll ever need to know about the clan. Whatever. I suppose I can keep it as a reference guide or something. Okie dokie. That's taken care of. Spent 60 hours doing homework in this class. And? You've done homework, right? Eh. In the current state, just try to get what you can get done. That's all I can really say for right now. I would seriously, if you want to fill in that class for some reason, look into if this that if that shit is allowed. That does not feel like it should be allowed. I got a 92% grade right now. Mm. Still, my point still stands. Even if you don't fail, I would still look into that. That does not feel like it's legitimate. I feel like that's bullshit. 
Anyways, back to the game. I suppose this means that this is where they keep all the costumes. It certainly looks that way. It's like the Badger family's home. There are eight boxes, but seven of them are empty. Which means that seven of the costumes are in use right now. But aren't these Badgers the mascots of the police force? Well, I heard that the police had a hand in sponsoring this theme park. Probably because the Gatewater group owns the police all from all those cases they solved. They have all the power of the state and they use it to make a theme park. It's not just any theme park. They have a handcuff shaped double looping roller coaster. That's quite enough. I'm feeling woozy just at the thought of such a thing. I won't rest until I've expected every suspicious looking nook and cranny. Let's see here. Let's examine this. So this is the Blue Badger's rival, the Bad Badger, huh? Do you feel some sort of reverence towards this Badger, Kay? <laughs> I can't believe you would be so stereotypical when it comes to thieves. Certainly, you must also think there are much cooler and cuter ones out there, right? That's it! I decided that thieves and thievery need an image makeover. Good luck with that one. There's a key here. And what have we here? Ah! Why do I feel laser like staring right at me? Did you want to take a look? Well, don't mind if I do. Oh, I see. This is, yes, this is definitely a key. I'm sure it's a key to something. Oh, what is that audio glitch? Just in case, I'm going to reset the game audio. There we go. That something is what is relevant to my interest. And we'll examine the blue badger. Gatewater like the Gatewater Hotel, maybe. It would make sense for uh, Ace Turing to reference that. Look, it's the blue badger. I suppose even this thing can be popular with women. I can't stand him. What, what in the... Why is she suddenly beating the blue badger's image up? He's got the word badge right in his name. How bad is that for a girl like me? I think he's out there wandering around in this park. I better be careful, he's going to arrest me by the power of his name alone. I somehow doubt that the Blue Magic has the power to arrest anyone. Frodo Badger. This is the Blue Badger I met at the main gate. Excuse me, but his name is Proto Badger, not Blue Badger. He's based off of the very first design created by the local police chief. You know, when you compare the two, the Blue Badger looks a bit cuter. I suppose as he continued to redesign him, the Chief managed to make him cuter and cuter. Even humanity has come a long way when you think about how much we've evolved. Are we comparing the Blue Badger to humans now? <laughs> Back in good old case 2, Turnabout Sisters. Oh yeah, I do remember that. Yeah, I was confusing Gatewater with Watergate, which is probably what it was referencing, but still. Suppose this is the pink badger. Since it has the same design, it doesn't seem forced to call this one female. You think so? I mean, just look at how long her eyelashes are. That's the only difference. And the fact that she's pink. Yes, and... And her lips are red. See? Lipstick. What? She has nothing to say about the giant pink ribbon, or is that too obvious? It was a case with wiretapping? Yeah. That's clever. I guess I have to click on the, uh, ad itself, or not. Alright, that takes care of that. Man, why did they have to put the windows so high up anyway? How was a thief supposed to make her daring escape? Suppose we couldn't make our way out if we were able to climb on top of these lockers. <laughs> I think that's pretty clever. You'd make a good thief yet, Mr. Edgeworth. Please don't ever place my name on the word thief in the same sentence again. Let's see. I wonder if I can jump and grab the top of the locker here. <laughs> Man, why do they have to make such ginormous lockers anyway? Even if we want to do you see the lockers, we need some sort of foothold. Let's see here. Paint buckets. 
Maybe we can use this paint bucket to help us escape. And what exactly do you have in mind? Well, you see, Edgeworth, we'll paint the ledges yellow, and that'll make it so we can climb on top of them. Because that's how we do game design. <laughs> yeah. I had to make a joke about that. Well, we can paint help in really giant letters. And who, pray tell, would see these giant letters when inside a building? Okay, then how about we light the paint on fire and send out colored smoke signals? Anyone who saw it would think some crazy arsonist was about to call, was about and call the cops. Hmm, actually, that may not be all great for me, seeing as I'm a thief and all. Let's try to find something other than this paint tube, shall we? All right, what about here? They're holding a blue badge of photo rally. You didn't know? Plus, it's not just a blue badger, it's his whole family, too. I've noticed they're not using the character portraits for uh, these interactions. Granted, I don't think they were doing that in other uh, investigation sections either. <laughs> Take a picture with every member of the Badger family and receive a prize. There's only one of the four members walking throughout the park. Best of luck. If you manage to stamp a shot of every member of the family, you get a really posh prize. Oh, there's a costume head sitting over there. I wanted to start with a picture of that. You can't do that. That's cheating. There's only one of each badger in the park, so you have to work for it. In badgers, there was one sitting against the wall in the haunted house. Seriously? Well, somebody don't think that one counts, Mr. Edgeworth. I have to take pictures of the costume ones walking around the park. Hmm. Are those the rules of this game? How quaint. Alright, what about this rope on the floor? Hmm? Isn't this my phone? Looks like I made it through the ordeal intact. Only there was a way for us to contact someone on the outside. Oh, but we do have a way, right here. Ah, there was a cell phone here this whole time? If I'm right, Detective Gumshoe should have contacted the precinct for backup. Mr. Edgeworth, sir, are you okay? I was so worried, sir. I'm fine. I was knocked unconscious for a spell by the kidnapper, that's all. I'm sorry, sir. I'm such a failure. Only I hadn't lost sight of you. Detective, we don't have time for this. Have the police set up our perimeter. Now. You don't have to worry about that, sir. I already got the boys working on it. But in doing that, I sort of... Ah! What's wrong, Detective? Sorry to butt in, but I'm afraid you're going to have to make do with me. Who is this? Xi Long Lang of Interpol. A pleasure to speak with you, Mr. Edgeworth. I've heard a great deal about you. So why exactly is an Interpol agent like yourself involved in a domestic kidnapping case? Don't sweat the details. Crime's a crime whether it's on a local or global scale. Besides, you're the one who's in a world of trouble. And why would you say that? Lang Z says the pack that runs together stays together. You catch my drift? You caused quite a ruckus by running blindly into a situation and then getting caught. Should have contacted the police from the very beginning. I'm sorry that this happened because of a lapse in judgment. However, I humbly request that you help me out of here post haste. Sorry, no can do. What? We're hunting the kidnapper now and I haven't got any hands to spare. As I said, my pack moves as one. You're the one who wanted to go it alone, so good luck to you, Mr. Prosecutor. Uh oh, and once we do catch the kidnapper, rest assured we'll come find you. Eventually. You. You. What's wrong? Did you get cut off? No, my phone ran out of power. No way! Doesn't matter anyway. We try to get out of here through our own means. Yeah, I have a name to live up to after all. If we put our heads together, we're sure to find a way out. What is this? Looks like the Bad Badger, and it's looking as bad as ever. Looks like a costume head to me. I guess the Bad Badger's costume is, at the very least, a two-piece, huh? The real question is, why is only the head sitting out here on the floor? Discovered in the isolation room. Let's talk to Kay. And let me take another swig of the water, because I'm talking a lot today. 
Do you know where the person who kidnapped me went? Well, after they locked you up in here, it sounded like they went in the next room and started talking to someone. I feel like I heard something as well, but it's all a haze in my mind. However, I do recall that the kidnapper was talking with someone. It was just a guess before, but I guess I really am dealing with two kidnappers here. After that, they left. It almost seemed as if they were done with you. I suppose if that is the case, as my kidnapping seems like an afterthought to the one million. Well, if they went to the next room, let's see what we can find out through the slot. Ooh, we can peer into the kidnappers where we can put them in the blah 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 blah. Ooh, we can peer into the room the kidnappers were in from there. Won't rest until they've investigated every suspicious looking nook and cranny. Is that what I think it is? It looks like the kidnappers had an escape tunnel prepared just in case. That's awesome! They're like a bunch of great thieves themselves! No, they're not, because I highly doubt they made the tunnel themselves. The floor panel was removed and propped up against the beam in a very specific way. As having placed by a hook, the entrance to an underground room, perhaps. I think this building was originally built with a basement or underground area. Some chairs over here. We can investigate those. Investigate that. There's a beam in the next room identical to the one in this room. There's even a hook on it to hold a propped up floor panel in place. Where is this hook? I don't see it. Which reminds me. Did you find something useful, Mr. Edgeworth? Hmm, perhaps. I may have found a very handy hint to how we'll get out of here. There's a door on the opposite sign that appears to be the same as this one. Which would mean that I can probably assume that these two rooms are very similar in structure. I believe I may have just found our ticket out. Alright, I think I've investigated everything. There's this right here, but I can't interact with that. Alright. Examine. The beam I was tied to. Hmm? What's up? I was pondering if perhaps we could make it over and to and out the window if we climb this. Good thinking, and if it's climbing action you need, just leave it to me. Thanks. This little hook look, looks like it might make for a good foothold. You go, Kay, and good luck. Down on it. Great deep Yada Grassy spreads her mighty wings and takes to the skies. Here I go! And then Kay died. As I thought, this beam was definitely not made for climbing. What do you mean, as I thought? I'm not your guinea pig, you know. I mean, it's we look for a door. To escape through, right? Yeah, and I went through that one already. Nobody is your new dad. <laughs> Alright. I guess I logic. I guess that's what I'm supposed to do here. The top that we can escape if only there were some footholes. on this beam. You know I already tried and there's no way I can jump from this hook to the window. Come on, even you have to admit when something's just not possible. <laughs> wasn't about to suggest that again, rather that it's here for a different purpose. Really? Like what? As you saw in the adjacent room, it's clearly for keeping a floor panel propped up. Which means that there should be a panel in this room we can open as well. Oh, I get it. I didn't notice its existence all this time because it was being hidden by this tarp. Alright then, let's fold this thing up and see what's underneath. Now this is what I call a treasure. What? I'm 
sorry. Unlocking the fucking... Unlocking the lockers with the key. Wow, this must be another entrance to the secret hidden basement. I totally smell treasure. Since I wish to smell is the sweet fragrance of freedom. Then what are you waiting for? Hurry up and open the hatch. All right. <clears throat> this thing is locked down tight. Ah, oh, fiddlesticks. All right, attempt number two. There we go. I believe you're up, okay. Huh? Why me? Because we need to use the tiny key that you've taken quite a liking to. Oh, gotcha. Just leave it to me. I love the tense feeling of these moments when you're about to uncover something big. I believe the feeling of freedom would be much more satisfying right about now. All right, got the secret door open, and now... Wait! What? Ah! You all right, Kay? I'm fine. The ladder just slipped is all. If she's all right, I about had a coronary. There's a lot of really large machinery down here. What about an exit? Um, it's really dark and cramped down here, so there's... I really doubt there's an exit. I fucking love her little <laughs> cartoonish, like... <laughs> just whoop! <laughs> from underneath. Like a fucking gopher popping out of the ground. That was funny. She did again. I can't believe that happened. Only yourself to blame for leaping before you looked, you know. No way. I mean, how was I supposed to know that the ladder was removable? Okay, there we go. I figured out how we will escape this prison, okay? And how are we going to bust out? Seems that your reckless actions were of use after all. Are you actually praising me? More well, of a thank you for giving me an idea regarding this ladder. The underground ladder? What about it? This ladder isn't just for those who wish to go down. Oh, I see. If we use this... Yes, I believe it's long enough to reach the top of those lockers. Well, then what are we waiting for? Give her a head pad, I would. All right, now we can get out of here. Yes, we spent entirely too much time in here. Kidnappers who held me hostage and mysterious Interpol agent. This case is only getting started and I'll be the one to bring it to a resounding end. March 13th, Wild Wild West area. I fucking love how he slid down. Looks like it's stopped raining for now. Yeah, and thank goodness, you have no idea how hard it was raining earlier. Mr. Edgeworth! I'm so glad to see you managed to escape, sir. I was so stressed that I thought my heart was gonna give out. Detective Gumshoe, may I ask what in the world that is? Well, that's, um... Count off. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, ninety-eight, ninety-nine. 98, 99. All 99 members are here and accounted for, sir. Yeah. What the heck do you think you're doing counting my cubs off like that? Every person is a valuable human being, you get me? And everyone has a name that their parents gave to them. No one is a two or a three. Everyone, regardless of age or rank, is number one. Got it? Well, I'm a two. I'm Risey or two. Now somebody can do it. She boo. She boo. <laughs> yeah, you're number one. Duh. Thank you. But that's not iconic. <laughs> Thank you, though. CC. That was sweet. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Why, Jin Lang, I take it. You infidel, how dare you address our Shifu so rudely? 
Lang Z says, A cub who disrespects others soon feels the disciplinary bite of an elder. So don't you ever forget to show the proper respect towards another person. Be nah. This isn't much, but please accept my card. Oh, thank you. Please accept mine in return. Y'all see that just now? That is the proper way for two people to show their respect. Keep that in mind and you'll get far in life. Got it? Your number one twice, one for each form. There we go. That works out. <laughs> I'm actually gonna steal that one. I'm gonna steal that line, CC. <laughs> I'm number one twice, one for each form. <laughs> Oh, that's right, Francisca didn't warn me. Something about an elite Interpol agent from the Republic of Zengfar. This man has the highest successful arrest rate in the organization. Richard Lang, why exactly is an Interpol agent involved in this clearly domestic case? It's none of your business, Mr. Prosecutor. Or is it not? I've heard a rumor or two about you. You solved a murder that occurred during your flight home recently, right? Ha! <laughs> But you sure took a while just to arrest one little flight attendant. How pathetic. How dare you say that about Massagewa? Are you saying he could've solved it fast somehow? The comedic relief jumps to the aid of his master. How cliche. Look, what I'm getting at is that if I had been there, no one would've died. I would've solved the entire case and Agent Hicks would still be with us here today. Agent Lang knew yesterday's victim, Agent Ackby Hicks. Hicks was like a brother to me, so now I'm about to take my revenge. Agent Hicks was investigating a smuggling ring with Francisca and a third person. This must be the man she was talking about. In that case, you should understand how I feel, as the kidnapped is someone I know. So I ask that you please allow me to participate in the investigation. This is a uniquely trimmed courtroom Eden, you know. You're out in the wilderness now, Mr. Prosecutor, and way out of your league. No hard feelings, but why don't you go back to your courtroom now, pretty boy? You. You dare to mock the court? I do. And I don't need the help of a filthy prosecutor. Sorry, but the truth doesn't need the likes of you to distort it today. Use the adjective filthy to describe a prosecutor, and why? Why do I feel such intense loathing emanating from it? All right, men. Good job on the perimeter around Gate Waterland. Now just find me the kidnapper and bring the punk to me. Dismissed. Sir! Now then, Mr. Prosecutor, you just sit tight here and don't cause any trouble, understand? B wait. Oop, right in front of the daughter, yeah. <laughs> but Mr. Edgeworth. It's been a while since I last met someone so disagreeable. Why of all places did he show up here? I'm completely out of the blue at that. I suppose I'll have to ask Detective Gumshoe to fill me in on that. Okie dokie Loki. Let's talk to Gumshoe Oki. Great job, Detective. Sir! Losing sight of me and the kidnapper and allowing my investigation to be hijacked. I, sir, I look forward to your next month's salary assessment. But, but the case isn't lost yet, sir. I'm going to show you just how much of a man Dick Gumshoe can be. Shall I prepare tw the 21 gun salute now or later? This episode of Spy X Family is Spy Family is kind of whack. <laughs> Detective, are you sure it was the precinct you called for backup? Of, of course, sir. I think I would know the number to my own precinct, like the back of my hand. Then why did an Interpol agent show up instead with an army of his own agents? That I have no idea. About five minutes after I made the call, that old man showed up out of nowhere, sir. Agent Lang definitely has an agenda, though the question is, what is he after? Mr. Edgeworth, I was wondering if I may ask you about one thing, sir. Yes, what is it? Um... Who is that? The girl over there, I mean. I'm Mr. Edgeworth's assistant, Kay Faraday. What? 
Honey, I don't recall making you my assistant. Yeah, I'm assistant Edgewood's assistant. Me, it's been like that since forever. Sorry, but I just stole your supporting role. How can you say something so serious with that giant grin on your face, pal? Mr. Edgewood, we got a thief on her hands, sir. She stole my role, sir. I'm taking her in and getting her convicted, making sure she serves out her sentence. Oh, come on, it'll be fun. Like musical chairs. You better stay fast on your feet. No way. I won't. I will not lose the spotlight to you, little girl. All right. Let's talk to Kay now. Man, I can't calmly do any stealing at all with that detective around. Suppose it's not easy when there's as many members of law enforcement in the vicinity. It's all right. It's not like I'm in a hurry to steal just any old thing. Which is it? Do you plan to steal something or not? Quite the mystery, this one. Maybe I should talk with her a bit more. So, what are you going to do about your investigation into the kidnapping? Question. Mr. Agent Lang holds the authority to investigate this case now. It makes things a bit more complicated. Oh, come on. You can't let that stop you. Let me lend you a hand, so let's go. You're a self-perpetrated great thief, are you not? I don't believe I can let someone of any unlawful name of the show participate in an investigation. You don't like to listen, do you? I'm not just any ordinary great thief. I'm the Yadagarasu. As I said earlier, I'm the Yada the Yadagarasu is after one and only one thing. What is this one and only one thing you're after? The Yadagarasu is only interested in one thing. And that is the truth. I see. Seven years ago. Is a vigilante who threw the business world into a panic. Mysterious and phantom light, the Yatagarasu appeared and vanished at will. And we still don't know much about this thief's ultimate goal. We do know the targets. Yatagarasu liked to find and make public evidence of corrupt dealings and all sorts. Once a target was chosen, no dramatic calling cord or announcement was sent forth. Then the chosen corporation was infiltrated without even the target noticing. Some days later, the evidence that was found was sent out to the mass media. Along with a card and the mark of Three-Legged Raven. Looking back, I suppose you could call what the Yatagarasu does was stealing the truth. Will this child really be the successor to the original Yatagarasu? Well, Gumshoe, second fill the Edgeworth's adopted now. Oh well, he can talk to Maggie. <laughs> True. There's always Maggie you can fall back on. Do the situation, never demand it. Hmm. Worst case scenario, they're just siblings. Can't be. Can it? Lance! Lance! Where are you, son? I'm keeping that voice. <laughs> as long as there's an alleged falls off. Mr. Mono? Oh, Miles, my boy! I'm sorry to involve you in such an affair just after you've returned. Are you, Mr. Mono? I will gladly offer my assistance. For all I have you to thank for how well things turned out during my time abroad. If it wasn't for you, I might not have been introduced to that law office and had the chance to study the inner workings of another country's judicial system. No, no, no. Think nothing of it. As you know, Manfred and I go way back. I consider a beloved disciple of his to be like one of my own blood. If you ever want to go overseas again, you need only ask. I could use my company's vast network to send you anywhere at any time. So who's that old man? He is the father of the currently kidnapped Lance Amano, Ernest Amano. Now then, have you found Lance yet, Miles? Please, I miss my poor boy dearly. Tell him sorry, but your son's whereabouts remain unknown, Mr. Amano. Which country would that be, Edgy? I don't think he's said yet, actually. Hmm. <clears throat> well, uh, uh, hold on there. Then what happened to all that money? I believe the one million has been stolen and that the culprits are now on the run. What? <laughs> Poor old man. Don't you have anything you could give to cheer him up, Mr. Edgeworth? Give me Mr. Mono. Refresh my memory. What kind of person is Lance again? I'm telling you about Lance. Hope you get him back. 
Surprisingly, a lot can be produced from a person's relationships and behavior. Very well. That is my one and only son, he turned 21 this year. He is very much like me when I was his age. Kind and very attractive. And an alcoholic. <laughs> Michelle Women simply can't keep the hands off him. Is there anything else you, about him you noticed as of late? Now you mention it. I haven't been able to get into contact with a butler, Oliver. Butler? Yes, and his name is Oliver Deacon. The family for years now. He gets along so well with Lance, I thought maybe he would know where my son is. I was wondering if you could please tell me the details of the kidnapping one more time. Oh, it was yesterday. A call came to the house. You see, it became the son of my son. Help me, Daddy! Well, this is tough, but please stay with me here, Mr. Amano. I don't understand! He had to call me Daddy in ages! It was incredibly moving! I wish I would recorded him saying that. He definitely should have recorded that conversation. Not for the foolish sentimentalities of an old man. Mr. Amano, could you please tell me a little more about your butler, Mr. Deacon? As the butler, he's outstanding! He even serves as Lance's personal private tutor. He took a brief leave recently, but even after it, it was over. I haven't been able to reach him. So you still haven't spoken with him since his leave. And what about his family and friends? They said they hadn't seen him. I've tried everything I could think of, Miles. Do you think this could have something to do with Lance's kidnapping? It's possible, but I can't say a thing yet for sure. Even the person closest to the victim has gone missing. Oliver Deacon, sounds like one name I'd better keep in mind. Dot, 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 dot. Detective Gumshoe. Yes, sir. Begin our investigation. Even if that interval agent holds the authority to head this investigation, we can't allow ourselves to stand idly by twiddling our thumbs. I'm with you 100%, Mr. Edwards, sir. I, Dick Gumshoe, pledge to stick by your side through thick and thin. Sir Mono, it was my fault that the culprits escaped. Which is why, with your blessing, I vow to return Lance to you myself. I've never seen you so passionate before, Miles. Good luck to you, my boy. Alright, well, what are you waiting for? Let's do some investigating. If you think I'm losing you, pal, forget it. Alrighty. Well, so what should we examine first? Hmm. Thanks, Agent Lang. We couldn't, can't leave this area. Culprits were here only until only very recent, which means we may be able to find some clues that will tell us how they escaped. Okay, let's get looking. Hey, you there. Oh, me? What are you doing goofing off in a place like this? I wasn't goofing off, I was about to help Mr. Edward kick off his investigation. You imbecile. All precinct detectives are now under Agent Lang's direct demand. N no way! I am not working for Wolf Boy. Mr. Edgeworth, can't you do something? I'm not exactly in a position to argue, seeing as how you are a member of the police. Good. Now let's go. No! Boy, have I got just the job for someone of your talents. Well, that was exciting. Okay. Can you tell I'm already get down to some detective work? You should go home. Your parents must be worried about you. Oh, come on. I finally get to be your assistant and you try to ditch me. I don't recall offering you the position. Uh, why do you have to be so difficult? Besides, it's already too late, you know. Like I said, I've already stolen the position of assistant a while back. <laughs> You're the only one asserting that. Well, by the time anyone notices, it's already gone. That's the Yadagasi way. You shouldn't speak so lightly of things you know nothing about. Fine, whatever, you win. Go ahead and do your little investigation. But the talented assistant K is going to tag along no matter what you say. If she turns out to be useless, she's not going to listen to me. Might as well surrender and let her come along for the ride. And we begin. Actually... Mm. I think it might be about time for ad break. Let me double check. Yeah, ad starts soon. Might as well go ahead and send us off for a few minutes. This is going to be the perfect time for y'all to go ahead, get some water, get some snacks, use the bathroom, do whatever y'all humans need to do. 
And once we come back, we'll get right back to the investigation, which I should probably save first. Let me take care of that real quick. What's the, uh, what did I make, uh, what's the button on my very normal 3DS again? Don't mind me, I am doing nothing weird. Ah, that's what I made it. There we go. <laughs> all right, now with all that being said, this is, we're gonna go to break. So, I'll catch y'all in just a few moments. So, with all of this being said, waiting for the music to cut back on. Bye for now.
Welcome back, everybody. Hope you all had a good break. Um, if you're wondering why the break was a little um, short, I bought it. I bought the Sennheiser. I spent a lot of money to fix audio issues. It'll be worth it. Anyways, um, let me go ahead. I didn't get a chance to recalibrate my uh, VTube studio. Let me do that real quick. Alright, we're Gucci. We're Gucci. We're good. We're lovely. We're wonderful. Let's go ahead and get things back in action. Starting with... Talking to people. Uh, Alright, let's see here. There's not much we can do there. We are not allowed to leave this area. Hey, there's a bunch of footprints in the mud over here. I remember hearing rain fall out here earlier while I was being held in there. Yep, it was just a passing rain. That's why the ground has already pretty much dried up. I should be thankful and left us with some nice footprint samples. You know what? I bet if we followed them, we could figure out where the kidnappers went. Plus, we'd be able to spot them because of their muddy shoes. I don't think it will be that easy. Why not? Look carefully. There are quite a few different sets here. We don't know which ones belong to the kidnappers. Uh, that's true. I don't know what kind of shoes they were wearing. Alright, so that's useful information. There's a cat here. Ah, I've got you now, you vile criminals! I think the kidnappers would have better sense than to try hiding in these. Oh, come on, lighten up, will ya? I was only joking. I don't really think that the criminals are would be hiding there in front of two officers. I certainly hope not. Excuse me, but if you could just let me through here. Sorry, I can't let anyone through. Agent Lang's orders. <clears throat> I suppose I'll have to deal with this impasse for now. Alright, same thing. <laughs> Did not... Can I... No, it's the footprints. There is not a lot of shit here right now. <laughs> Oh wait, there's a badger. There's a lot of shit. Never mind. This isn't disturbing at all. Hey, it's the blue badger! Badger, get! I really don't understand why she's so excited over this badger hunt. Thinking of badgers as a person inside of there. Mr. Badger, I would wonder if you might share with me what you saw. He's doing that contorted, wriggling dance again. Aha! Yeah, it's him! Ah, you cut her right dead, eh, sir! Let's remain under the head, sir! Aren't you Officer Meekins? Sir! Meekins reporting for duty, sir! This man was a witness in one of the cases I headed two years ago. But the only thing I could remember about this officer is that he often spoke and acted before he thought, which gave me a great deal of headaches. Is he a friend of yours, Mr. Edgeworth? I've met him in the courtroom once before. Hmm, why was he so upset when we asked him? Does he have something to hide? Officer Meekins, why are you standing here wasting time? Sir! Because I'm not a police officer right now, sir! I'm the low badger! And I'm creating memories and dreams for the kids! That's never a waste of time, sir! I have a dream to become as big a detective as Gumshoe, sir! I was patrolling the scorchingly boring beat until a little while ago. When the dispatch radio on my shoulder crackled that the kidnappers had escaped, sir! I 
thought maybe this was my shot at making detective, sir. But I saw never to join in. But when I got here, the see people here already. And I couldn't spread my trademark friendliness and joy on anyone. It seemed that some people never change. So, why exactly are you in that ridiculous outfit? Sir! That's because, sir! I'm here to keep the visitors in good spirits, sir! But it's also the fact that I'm an officer on the trail of a kidnapper, sir! I see. Agent Lang is very wise to employ the sword diversionary tactics. To be handed the role of the Blue Badger out of all different disguises, sir! It's... It's such an honor! How long have you been standing here, officer? Sir! For about one hour, sir! That's around the time I woke up from being knocked unconscious. And I've been here ever since, sir! That's true, then it's possible Officer Meekin saw the kidnappers escaping. But, 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 but however, sir! I must tell you, I didn't see a thing, sir! I haven't asked you anything yet, officer. No, 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 no! But, but you know that you will, sir! Hiding something from me. Officer Meekins, I insist you tell me more about your recent movements. Sir, I've been playing the blue badge this whole time, sir, and getting into it too! I patrolled the park, all out wearing this costume! About one hour ago, I came over here, sir! I haven't seen any suspicious looking people the whole time, sir! But I did see a badger, sir! A lone blue badger! You said just now it's contradictory to the facts. How so, Mr. Edgeworth? This is what Officer Meekins' testimony contradicts. Um. This. Wait, no. I think it's this. Yeah. There we go. <laughs> I like voicing Meekins. <laughs> I enjoy yelling. Have you all figured that out yet? <laughs> Officer Meekins, let's back things up. I'd like to ask you about your last statement. Sir! Of course, sir! That's your wish, Mr. Prosecutor! This old patrolman will wait as long as I am commanded to wait! You said that you saw a blue badger, correct? And yet, if you take a look at this, what you saw was not supposed to happen. This park is supposed to have only one of each badger in it at any given time. Which means that as long as you are the blue badger, Officer Meekins, you should not have been seen another blue badger wandering the premises. Well, what, sir? And that would mean that there are two blue badgers walking around. But why? All right. Um. Let me present the blue bad badger's head. Sir, I'm undercover as a blue badger now, sir. I must pretend to not know anything about anything, sir. Mustn't respond to that. It would be like shooting fish in a barrel. Okay, so that's taken care of. Let's examine this. What's this a painting on this garage door to complete the wild fence theme? They look so lifelike, don't you think? Are you thinking of wrangling or rather stealing them? If you can coax them out of there, sure. Come on, I know you can sweet talk them out. I'd be holding a cube of sugar in my hand and they wouldn't budge, Kay. I'm guessing he's no dice. Yep. set of tire tracks originating from the garage. Uh -huh. So that means me the car left from the garage at the same time, right? Correct, but for the car to leave these tracks, mean that it left during the passing rain. It's the only explanation as to why these tracks are made of mud. Hmm, three treads. I think we can also safely assume it's a special type of car. Good to know, good to know, good to know, good to know. These were real, I wonder what you'd put in them. Wonder would be the obvious answer. But if you stored water in a barrel under the blazing hot sun, wouldn't it go bad? People of that period probably didn't care about how it tasted. Sorry, but I can't let you get away with making fun of our forethought fathers. I mean, maybe they really like the strange taste. I'm just making fun of them now. Cactus. Look, there's a blurb about the cactus here. This cactus is a very gracious gift to Gatewater Land from the local police precinct. And the police went so far as to even donate a cactus to this place. So, is the police department running a cactus farm on the side? <laughs> Just kidding, they wouldn't do something so silly. 
Actually, I have a vague impression I've seen a cactus farm at the precinct before. Let's see here. Can we go in here? No, we cannot. Alright. Let's see what we can logic right now. Is the costumes of the Badger family are kept in the isolation room. The second one was spotted. I don't feel like we have enough information. Unless we need to present some stuff to him. Badger photo rally? That looks to be quite like something with a bit of value. But that all things have some value attached to them. Only by probing deep into the unknown can we become true winners in this world, Miles. Things, but knowledge isn't what's going to make the winner here. It's information. Blue bad badger, bad badgers then? Nope. What the fuck am I doing with my life? I don't know. Walk with K? Yes? Nah. Surely I can present him something. Drip! Drip drop! Little by little, our privacy is being sold off to the public through this, sir. But that means I need to work extra hard on my cute poses! Ooh, like what? Look at this! Great, now I know what your new pose will be. Look, sir, have successfully sold his pose and speaking his style, sir. That's nice, Kay. The Blue Badger Bible? Sir, you have a copy of the Blue Badger Bible too, sir? That's written by experts on the Badger family, sir. And it's very, very thorough. It doesn't matter that it was made that that it was made the blue badger only a little while ago, sir. That book helped me memorize every name of every badger, sir. That's not that hard to remember four incredibly obvious names. Uh, what am I doing? What am I doing? What's happening? I can examine this. Hey, Mr. Edgeworth, isn't this one of those things you tie horses to? Yes, although the horses are in another location at the moment. Ah, I knew I was hoping I would get to ride one. Know how to ride a horse? Nope, never rode one in my life. But I have an Asian friend who was born in the year of the horse. non secretary is the only way to describe your logic. And I guess the rope is of no value. Okie dokie. So we got the tire tracks. We got... Um, am I missing something? I feel like I've investigated everything. Are you able to track the kidnappers from the blueprints? This is the only thing I can think to do right now. Apparently it was. A second blue badger that shouldn't exist. Clearly the true identity of the person underneath is... Oh, I know. It's one of the kidnappers, right? The person wore a costume to get away. Any second blue badger was probably the kidnapper in disguise. Precisely. After all the costumes that went missing in the f After all the costumes that went missing from the storage area are A blue badger, a proto badger, and a bad badger. Yes, those three. There are three phony badgers running around in the park somewhere, huh? That would actually help us. If he's wearing a costume... Now that we know that the kidnappers were wearing badger costumes, those footprints from earlier take on a new and very significant meaning. 
Oh, you mean how we only know which tracks belong to the kidnapper, right? Yes, more than shoe prints, we need to follow the paw prints of the badger. Okay, Mr. Edgeworth, it's time to use those footprints and go badger hunting. Alright. Hmm, so we're looking for footprints made by a costume. Hey, I think I found them! There are two sets here. They both do look like possible candidates. This says walking off to the west. Hi. Ah, just stops. I can't make heads or tails of where it's heading from here. I think we're gonna assume that it headed towards the stadium. Hmm, I wonder where the other set leads. This one seems to be headed east. It just keeps going and going. Huh? Quick, Mr. Edgeworth, I got him! I've got one of the culprits! Oh, no! I'm not a kidnapper, sir! Down, K. Clearly those footprints belong to Officer Meekins. The criminals were each wearing a costume. Oh, maybe one of them came over here to his garage or something. That's what I would suppose. Officer Meekins, if you could step aside for a moment. You need to examine the garage. Sir! Roger Wilco, sir! Oh, hello there. Open this shutter and see what we find. Maybe we'll find the kidnappers hiding inside. <laughs> what the? We seem to have stumbled across a dead body. She must be in severe shock to have been the first to find it. Now then, who is this man? It's Oliver! Mr. Armano, are you saying this man is... Yes, he's my butler. How could something like this have happened? Indeed, and why was Mr. Deacon here to begin with? Better investigate this crime scene quickly before Agent Langer's men return. Kidnappers for Prince lead right to this garage and right to a dead body. Is it possible one of the kidnappers is now a murder victim? In my cursory examination, I believe this man died of a fatal bullet wound. There are comfort for someone who just found a body. It's surprising what one can become accustomed to in the span of two days. I won't rest until I've inspected every suspicious looking looking cranny. As long as that Interpol agent has control of this case, I'm not going to be able to have a real autopsy done on the victim. I'm no doctor, but let's see what I can piece together myself. Hmm, there are two gunshot wounds, one is abdomen and one is shoulder. That means he was shot twice? No, I don't think so. I think the abdominal one is an entry room and the one near his shoulder is the exit room. Nice, I knew you could figure it out. Comes with experience, and I've seen my fair share of crime scenes. Speaking of experience, this crime scene seems to be too clean with a murder for a bullet went clean through. I should make note of this oddity. Okay. Necklace. This is an unusually shaped pendant. What is it? Is it something valuable? She seems to have regained some of her composure. Looks like a horse. It looks like a horse pendant. It's got an antique feel about it, and it's really pretty. Hold on. This is made of platinum silver. Nice. This is worth something after all. Oh, and look, there's something written on the back. Colin Devore. It's a name. Colin Devore? This man's name is. Can I deduce with a profile? Keep investigating. Okay, that's everything. Is this spot somehow connected to any of the evidence I hold? Victim Deacon, yeah. Eureka! Eureka! Fucking love that so much still. <laughs> that's never gonna get old, the Eureka. <laughs> Eureka! <laughs> Something not right about the name on the pendant. The victim is the Amano family butler, and his name is Oliver Deacon. The name on the pendant is Colin DeVore. I wonder what's up with that. I don't know, but I think we've hit upon an important piece of information. Bada bing, bada boom, what the fuck is you gonna do? Lance! 
Hey, Ants, where are you? Oh, wait, hold on, this is someone different. I kind of want to make them talk the same. Because I think that would be funny. Ba-dump. Huh. Oh, this is... Hmm. The fuck do I make you sound like? This is what sucks about having, like, two female voices. <laughs> I'm thinking. Oh, this is bad. He's really good looking. Heck, stop it, Lauren. You can't let yourself fall for a playboy like him. You're in love with... Sounds like someone doesn't know the meaning of the phrase inner monologue, huh? Sorry to interrupt your conversation, but might you be a friend of Lance? Yes, I'm Lance's girlfriend. My name is Lauren Pops. His girlfriend? It's not like that. We're more like friends, and um, we're not lovers or anything. We, well, we haven't gotten that far yet, but... I guess that's how people are going to see it, so I should just accept it. I even got this ring as a present from Lance. Swoon. <laughs> you know what she reminded me of? A cartoon character. <laughs> and inquire as to why you are here. I haven't been able to get in contact with Lance lately. I began to get really worried. Sob. I looked everywhere for him. And then I heard about the kidnapping, so I came here. Wow, you're really strong for having made it through all this by yourself. Um, is it true? Has Lance really been kidnapped? No one is supposed to know, but yes, it's true. Oh, Lance. I can't believe you've been spirited away. I wonder how you're doing right now. Looks like she's gone back to the fair maiden love routine. So, Mr. Edgeworth, where do we go from here? Oh, um, we found a body, so we should look into the murder. My men brought me over to speed over the radio. And I have to say, you really should have called. I heard you found something very intriguing. I have nothing to hide, Agent Lang, and it's exactly what you see before you. I'll take it from here. Yeah, that guy's really dead. In other news, the sky's blue. Hey, you waiting for investiga- invitation? Hurry up and detain the suspect now. Suspect? Who? Officer oh, Meekins, is it? You're coming with us. What? Sir! I have nothing to do with it, sir! Agent Lang, don't you think you're being a bit rash? Do you even have a good reason to suspect Officer Meekins? <laughs> I live at that stuff to you prosecutors. It's your job, after all. Like I said earlier, the crime scene isn't as forgiving as your priest's precious courtroom. That's your answer. I know you like your logic and reasoning. That sort of impractical bluff is not needed out here in the field. All you have to do is arrest suspicious person after suspicious person. That's how you eliminate crime from the streets. That's also precisely how you unnecessarily arrest innocent people by mistake. Innocent people? Nonsense. There's no such thing as an innocent person. We've all got a blemish or two in our hearts. That's tyranny. I won't allow such a thing to go unchecked before my eyes. <laughs> too bad you don't call the shots around here. As I've sworn to uphold the laws of this land, I cannot allow you to take this man in. They would arrest a man on false charges without even conducting an investigation. I do no honor as a member of law enforcement. I dare you speak disrespectfully to our Shifu. Hold it. <laughs> you amuse me, Mr. Prosecutor. Lang Z says every pack has its own rules. You can play by their rules and come out on top as a true victor. All right, I'll give your beloved laws a fair shake. I'll show you just how much investigating I've done. Through my line of logic. I've seen a lot of bodies like this one being carted off in my time. 
All I can say is he was shot in a single glance. But even you figured that much out, right? With your current gun laws, it's not exactly easy to get your hands on a gun. Not unless you're a member of law enforcement like Officer Meekins, isn't that right? That is your reasoning. Solid heads of rock. It's based on the philosophy of detainment. Um, what's his philosophy of detainment? <laughs> you don't know. In case, hit. Oh, I'm getting hiccups. Hold up. I'm gonna swallow ten times with my water. Alright, that should take care of it. <laughs> Pay attention, girly. In my country, the criminals have a saying. Beware of the wolf. Why the wolf? Because in my language, Lang means wolf, and you don't mess with me or my pack. And as for the detainment philosophy, its father is my honorable ancestor, Lang Zi. Hmm, you'd think I'd have heard of him and his teachings, if he is that famous. Lang Zi developed it as he worked to lock criminals away thousands of years ago. To this day, the Zangfa police still trains its recruits using his philosophies. But thousands of years ago? That makes your story about as believable as a fairy tale. <laughs> Anything wears down and breaks over time. He really believes something as ancient as that can be applied to today's world. You want to put it to the test? I think I have an idea of what's going on. Oh! Fuck, I didn't mean to hit that button, shit. Let's do it. <laughs> you must understand, I hit the wrong button of logic. <laughs> How dare to insult the courts. Okay. Let me hit the right button this time. There we go. That's all I need. Open and shut. You got your hands on a gun, not unless you're a member of law enforcement, like Officer Meekins, isn't that right? I think this is what they want me to present on. No. Alright, let me press a little bit, be lame. It would appear you've studied a little of our laws. Studied? Who needs to study what every child on any street corner already knows? It's that, that, Machina! The, Federation, the Federal Firearms Restriction Act. That's it, the Federal Firearms Restriction Act. I hear it's not easy to get a gun these days. Interesting, that woman is someone in charge of cheaping track of information. This is the kind of conclusion the philosophy of detainment can lead you to. I don't get it, Mr. Edgeworth. Why are you putting yourself on the line for Mr. Meekin? It's not that I particularly care about what happens to Officer Meekins. What? However, I simply can't stand by while Agent Lang and Loris are the country's laws. She Long Lang, just what sort of investigator are you? Alright, press right here. That's the case. There are plenty of other officers who might be potential suspects. You're not seriously going to arrest every, each and every one of them, are you? As if I would need to. I've already looked into everyone else here. Oh? Other than Officer Meekins, I know no one else's weapon has been fired. How did you check every single person's weapon in such a short span of time? It's because each and every one of my subordinates is extremely capable. It didn't take more than a few minutes to conduct the entire investigation. Power of sheer numbers. Do you have yet to check Officer Meekin's weapon, correct? Thanks for reminding me. Hey, you! Show me your gun! Oh! What's wrong? Why does he look so sickly pale all of a sudden? Gun! What did you say? I can't hear you. Stop mumbling and spit it out already. Uh, sir! Uh, sir! I lost my gun, sir! How could you be so irresponsible? 
Good. In the end, it looks like you're still the only suspect we've got. You're the one who waited here outside the garage to ambush and kill the victim. So you think that Officer Meekins waited here to kill the victim, do you, Lang? I think this little accusation deserves a lot more scrutiny. Oh lord, I'm talking a lot. I'm getting lightheaded. No joke. Uh, Officer Meekins ambushed the victim and killed him here with his gun. Now do I present this? Fuck. I just want to say the bad badger has a gun. I'm a very simple man with a very simple line of logic, but the game isn't a, it doesn't have a very simple line. It's like squiggly and crooked and it, it has like 90 degree angles. Mean to tell me that the murder occurred here in this garage? The fact the suspect was found almost next to where the body was found? I'd say that's pretty obvious that this is the crime scene. Langsy says a criminal always returns to the scene of the crime. Hey, finally, a quote even I've heard of before. Furthermore, Langsy says. Successful investigation that result in multiple returns to a crime scene. Looks like neither detectives nor criminals have changed their ways over the millenniums. So this is the kind of conclusion, and we're still here. Bra has a scroll. Technically his assistant has a scroll. Shit. I mean, I guess I just present that. There we go. Jesus Christ. Good Lord. Bad Badger has a gun. Other gun. There, there, there is other guns. There are other guns here. Gun. Not here. Not on Meekins. Gun. Gun. Fucking hell. What do you mean? Playing is the Retsu of Ace Attorney. The who? Hold up, I'm looking this up. The rat suit. All I found is some guy from Ace Attorney. I mean, not Ace Attorney, Street Fighter. I don't know nothing about Street Fighter. By even looking, did you not think to yourself that it was a little too clean? Ugh. So you did not notice that there was too little blood. Do you still wish to claim that Officer Meekins committed the murder here? Because this isn't the crime scene, and if it was, your men who led you to think it was. I suggest you leave the case to the local police to set the record straight. <laughs> Not bad. I see your logic can be just as sound as mine. But it wasn't. In that case, let me ask you this. Don't you think it's weird that officer was hanging around here in the first place? Weird? How so? Hey, you. Your squad's not even supposed to be in this area, right? What were you doing neglecting your duties and loafing around here? I... Don't you dare give me some lame excuse like I found myself taking a walk. But, sir, I really did take a walk, sir. Your disgrace. How dare you take your pack obligations so lightly? Also, Meekins is looking extra meek. Is he hiding something? Mr. Edgeworth, please, sir! Save me the way you did earlier, please, sir! Also, Meekins, please give us a detailed account of what happened. Sir! Not you two! Fucking love his. I fucking love the fucking cross eyed right there. Okay, got one assignment over 70%. That a boy, CC. That a boy. Now your exam's good for tomorrow. You can take it. Still look into that. That sounds like bullshit, and I'm not fucking letting that shit go. I got water on my stomach. I'm streaming with my shirt off because it is humid as fuck today. I mean, technically, if I'm doing that, shouldn't I be in this form? Shouldn't I be in that? <laughs> eh. He is a redeem for a reason, but I will allow it this time. Me a little variety, me a little spice of life.
occasionally. I would I would do the double mouth too because that goes well with this, but you know, voice acting, <laughs> dialogue, understanding me. It's true, sir. I want to assign this area, sir. I was told to check every square inch of the main area, sir. I also been looking for the kidnappers while selling dreams in the blue badger mobile, sir. But I got completely caught up in my role selling dreams to the children, sir. I never knew it. I found myself in this area, sir. Got three more? You got this. I believe in you, CC. You can do it. Keep going. What is this blue badger mobile? It's a moving store on wheels that sells sweet dreams and merchandise, sir. So the blue badger mobile is just a roaming souvenir shop? Sir, I swear I was chasing the kidnapper sound while I was being a good dream merchant. Seems rather worked up, even more than his usual hyperactive self. Sure seems sure of what he's saying. Try to calm down and lower your voice to a more reasonable level, officer. Sir! Roger, sir! I can't see it, but I am saluting whenever he salutes. <laughs> uh. Alright, let's see here. We square to the main gate area. I also am looking for the kidnappers while selling dreams in the blue badger mobile. I got completely caught up in my role selling dreams to his children, sir. Before I knew it, I found myself here in this area, sir. Became the blue badger. I have more to do, so I believe in you. You got this. Rotting before I'll spill the beans. Alright, press this. What exactly do you mean by selling dreams? Sir, the Blue Badger Mobile is where dreams are collected. Um, what? Sweetness like you've never known except in dreams, ma'am. Like innocence drops. And bitterness found only in nightmares, ma'am. Like guilty drawbakers. Selling those as I push the Blue Badger Mobile along is my sworn duty, ma'am. Trying to get him to talk about putting the blue badger mobile back in the garage. I was in the middle of a sea of kids, sir. One of the kids decided to challenge me to a fight, sir. I had to run away from the child's painful drop kicks, and before I knew it, <laughs> the good old drop kick. I just shot my fair share of those when I was a kid. Like I, it was always the best when you really felt one connect with your opponent. In any case, you wound up here for a reason completely unrelated to the investigation, sir. That's right, sir. It's not something you should be admitting to with your head held high, officer. Sounds like he's simply ba 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 ba. Press <laughs> here. Completely forgot to look for the kidnappers. No, sir. Of course not, sir. I I would never do something like that, sir. Um, you're absolutely right! Wow, ah, you're good at this forcing people to confess thing, Mr. Edgeworth. To be frank, I'm just a little man, sir. I'm better at selling kids a few small dreams than looking for a big crook, sir. Enough wallowing in your own self-pity. Let's return to your testimony. Yes, sir! <laughs> you kidding, that ain't true. Describe for me how you conducted your investigation. You throw hands even with armed dudes? Yeah, he did do that, if I remember correctly. Yes, sir. Well, first I made sure there were no suspicious people looking in the area, sir. But the only people that seemed to gather around me were little girls, sir. Well, what did you expect when you're dressed like the Blue Badger? I thought I had no choice at that point, sir, so... I'm completely caught up before I knew it. Uh, press again? Where were you assigned to? I was assigned to the main gate. 
All right, why are you here in the wild, wild west? Just say you took the blue badger mobile back. shop on three wheels was parked inside the Wild West area garage. Objection. There we go. So Meekins, I would appreciate if you didn't tell such transparent lies. Sir, I'm lying, sir! Yes, you are. You were really out here selling dreams of the Blue Badger Mobile until recently. What's it doing here inside the garage? Uh, actually, I had just lost track, sir. Lost track of what? By the time I realized that the Blue Badger Mobile was nowhere to be found, sir. Do you mean it was perhaps stolen? And that's when I came back to this area thinking maybe it was in the garage, sir. That's when you found me, Sir Edward, sir. A likely story. Who do you think is going to buy such a convenient tale as that? And what exactly is so convenient about a story? The car getting stolen? It's completely unbelievable for a cover story. Well, I think that we can assume the car was used all right, to move the dead body. What? You kill the victim at some distant location, Officer Meekins, and then you use the blue badger and be able to transport it all the way here. Now then, you're coming with me. It wasn't me, sir! The killer! Sir! It wasn't me, sir! Agent Lang, wait! What do you want now? We still don't know where the real scene of the crime is. You can't say we know all the facts of this case, let alone the truth. I told you, truth, shmoo. I couldn't care less. Our job is to catch the crook. You'll find out your precious truth after we rest this guy and take him in. That's the job of you prosecutors in your fancy courts with your logic. As for us, we don't have that kind of time to waste. You boorish buffoon! I think you need to leave. What? We need to get the body to the autopsy, and you guys are getting in the way. You. You would interfere with another one of my investigations. Hey now, let's not forget who holds the actual authority to conduct investigations here. I'm afraid the one doing the interrupting is you, my ignorant little pretty boy. Now, be a good fancy boy and get out of my sight if you don't. I'll arrest you for obstruction of justice. To be continued. Hmm. Stream's only been about two hours. Not sure if I want to end yet, though I am... I'm gonna be real with y'all. Voice acting is getting <laughs> all me a little lightheaded. Here's 10 in 30 minutes. Maybe if I didn't ha have to start so late, I'd go for another hour. But the fact I have gone for a bit does make me wanna... I think I will go ahead and just end off for today. Just this once. Next time we'll have a longer stream, though, for sure. I'll go ahead and put music back on. Close things up. And let's go back to chat and find somebody to raid, shall we? Okie dokie. Who are we going for today? Let me do a refresh and see who's on our way. I swear to God, I do so much fucking rhyming on this channel. I'm just turning into fucking Dr. Seuss. That I'm opposed to that. Let's see here. That could be lying to me. The raid menu has not been accurate to me lately. Okay, for once this was actually correct. Uh... Who do I feel like? It's between two people, mostly. Um... Hmm. You know... Let's go from one visual novel to another. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna raid Brian. 
He's playing Monster Prom 2 Monster Camp. Which is another visual novel. So, a little something for y'all to go to after the fact. Not sure if there's any crimes in that, but... Nah, is what it is. Go ahead, hit start on that real quick. But yeah, Brian's cool. He was super funny. I uh, collabed with him on Viz on Gartic Phone the other week. If y'all haven't watched that, uh, go ahead and do... Uh, though the VOD uh, isn't long for this world. I have to upload a lot of VODs soon. <laughs> I need to do that tonight. There are I have so many VODs I need to catch up on. And like, as soon as I'm done with my homework, I'm just going to upload like two, three of them. Just to get the backlog down a little bit. Because by God, it's fucking needed. <laughs> but uh, yeah... Well, that being said, this is a good little stream, barring the uh, audio issues at the start. Still a little pissed off about that, uh, but oh uh, well, what are you going to do? Uh, so, um, tomorrow we're going to be doing an art stream. going to be a lot more normal. We're not going to have audio issues beforehand. And then as for next week, well, like I said last stream, we're in a bit of a pretty consistent kind of schedule right now. And uh, it's probably just going to keep being Harvestella, Ace Attorney, Art for a while. Barring, like, the occasional collab. I'll let y'all know if anything changes for that. But, mm, yeah, next week I'm going to be having a new mic. Because I have ordered the Sennheiser and it's going to ride the 15th. So, uh, yeah, y'all get ready for an even smoother, buddy, butterier rise. Who is now down $300, but you know what? It's worth it. It is. It's fucking worth it. I'm sick of audio bullshit. Raid's about to start. Y'all have a good day, night, afternoon, where y'all, whatever the fuck you're doing. Y'all have a good one. Y'all have a good one.